What up, what up, good people? You know what time it is. I'm here to bring you that fire content. And up on the list today, we have Terrence Marshall Jr. His last two seasons at LSU, he caught 94 of his 134 targets for around 1,400 yards in 19 games. He also displayed his red zone abilities by scoring 23 times. He was drafted second in the second round, so you know the team want to utilize him and see what they got. Um, I'm adding Sarah Donald's about to have his best season yet. He is he is on pace to attempt over 500 passes and pass over 500 and 500 yards. He's on average attempting 36 passes per game. And uh, with CMC, and he was seeing 8 of those. DJ was seeing 10. And the newly traded tight end, Dan Arnold, was seeing 4. That's 22 total touches, with, which left over 14 targets for Robbie Anderson, Terrence Marshalls, and others to fight over. Now, no CMC and Dan is traded. It leaves 26 vacated targets per week. Of course, DJ would demand... A lot of those 26 leftover targets, but nevertheless, there are targets to be had. Let's go back to week three when CMC went out. Terrence Marsh had his highest snap total count at 62%, which went up from 36% the previous two weeks. And he produced his best game to date, where he uh, caught four of his five targets for 48 yards. And he averaged 12 yards per catch, which is very good. But uh, while T. Marsh playing time went up, somebody else playing time went down. Robbie Anderson playing time dec decreased each week. 81 in the first, 72 in week two, and uh, 64 in week three. And uh, in Dynasty, if you like this guy, you need to go get him within the next two weeks because his stock is only going to rise as he uh, finds his way in place in this offense and redraft. He's a nice added in piece when you're trading for somebody right now. And um, he... And he could become a, a flex play or even a wide receiver play down the stretch. So uh, tap in. It's Terrence Marshall time, baby.